Welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in our today's video, we are going to learn how to identify which electrode will act as the anode and which electrode will act as a cathode. So what is the concept? The concept is higher is the value of standard reduction potential. Okay, higher is the value of standard reduction potential. That is more is the value of standard reduction potential. More is the tendency for an electron electrode to undergo reduction. So more will be the standard reduction potential. More will be its tendency to undergo reduction. And a reduction takes place at which electrode? It takes place at the cathode. So more is the value of standard reduction potential. Greater is its tendency to undergo reduction and reduction takes place at the cathode. So the half cell reaction, half cell reaction whose standard reduction potential is higher will act as a cathode and whose standard reduction potential and the other electrode whose standard reduction potential is lower that will act as the anode where oxidation is going to take place. So let us try to understand this with the help of an example. Identify the cathode and anode. This is the first question. Half cell reactions are as follows. First reaction is Cu2 plus copper ion accepts two electrons to form copper metal. It's this, these are which values? These are the standard reduction potential values that we get from where? From the electrochemical series that are determined experimentally. Electrochemical series. And another reaction is zinc ion accepts two electrons to form zinc metal. So, which is the higher value? You have to follow what? You have to follow the number line. Okay, so which is the higher value? These are the higher values. So, positive value is going to be the higher value. We know that positive value is the higher value. So, which will act as a cathode the first reaction it is plus 0 0.34 which is higher so reaction a will act as a cathode and reaction b that is the first one was copper electrode next is the zinc electrode will act as what it will act as the anode at the cathode what will take place reduction and at the anode, what will take place? Oxidation. These, these are the two half cells of which cell? These are the two half cell reaction of which cell? It is of a Daniel cell. And in a Daniel cell, we know that zinc electrode undergoes oxidation and copper undergoes reduction. Let us understand with the help of one more example. Here, if you see, one is nickel ion accepts two electrons to form nickel electrode. Another is of iron. And again, the two values are given, but both are negative values. Now you have to be very careful. Suppose I consider the number line 0, and you can see both the values are what they are negative and they are less than 1. So, how I will write the values minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.2, minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.4, minus 0 0.5 and so on. Okay, so the lower negative value is the higher one. That is minus, here if you see minus 0 0.1 is the higher value as compared to minus 0 0.1 is greater than minus 0 0.2. So if we compare these two values from the number line, which is the greater value, minus 0 0.1, 26 is greater than minus 0 0.45. So, which electrode will undergo uh, oxidation or anode? The lower value. This electrode B will undergo what? Electrode B will undergo oxidation. That will that is it will act as the anode. And the higher value that is minus 0 0.26. Electrode A will undergo what? It will act as a cathode and it will undergo reduction. Okay, so the first reaction is cathode that is nickel will act as a cathode and iron will act as the anode. 
and here we come to the end of today's video i hope you have found this useful thank you